brilliant people. So in an earlier video, I talked about uh, intuition for introverts. So of course, today we have to even up the scales and talk about intuition for extroverts. So first of all, uh, again, just to recap, what is an extrovert? So uh, like in the previous video, I mentioned how introverts are people who get recharged by having alone time, by going internally and connecting to who they truly are. Well, extroverts really, they, they get recharged by going out in the world, by having all this, you know, wonder and stimulation and excitement. That's actually what recharges an extrovert. Now, to an introvert, that looks very chaotic, but and that is an extrovert's power, to be able to connect to all of that kind of stuff and just get a buzz out of it. So what that means for their intuition is that they actually have more of an ability to handle the second part of intuition, which is, okay, how do I align that or how do I apply it to the world? Like, how, what does my intuition telling me is happening out there in the world and where do I want to be out there in the world? And so for an extrovert, they often are much better at applying it externally, like knowing that they want to um, perhaps be in a particular time or place or whatever. But the risk, and there is a risk, you know, like we all have our weaknesses and our strengths. So an extrovert's strength is their ability to be aware of the external world. But um, their weakness is actually being aware of, of course, what the introvert's strength is, of being aware of what's internal, of their own personal alignment. And so even though they may be very good at working with their intuition and, you know, externally, they can be at risk of using their intuition for the benefit of everybody else and not for themselves. And while I suppose there are some old traditions that say, well, that's how you're supposed to use it, but let's face it, that's a little codependent and it's actually not very healthy because if what you're doing is working for everybody else and it's not working for yourself, well, um, I mean, that's a really nice thing to do, but in the end, yeah, I don't know that it's a healthy thing to do. So what can extroverts do to make sure that what they're doing is actually going to work for them so that they can have uh, some of that introverted power as well or awareness of like okay I'm I'm aware of the world and that's brilliant I can apply all this stuff and how does that work for me and that's actually what the key is so for extroverts when they're working with their intuition a really good thing to do in fact I would say an essential thing to do for for intro uh, for extroverts because with introverts it tends to happen automatically with for extroverts you really want to ask yourself so and how does this serve me? Or how is this going to help me? Like, how does this help me become who I truly am? How does this help me, you know, live my brilliance? Um, and so once the extrovert can, can develop the habit of putting some attention on that introverted or that internal alignment, then they will have the, the, uh, that other part of their intuition. So they'll be able to deal with the world, but still make sure that the world is working for them. So, and when they do that, extroverts will be able to, of course, tap into more of their own brilliance. So do that and, and um, you know, obviously, particularly if you're an extrovert and uh, until next time, remember that you're brilliant.